I got you now. He almost got me. Aslam like it. All right, so today's vlog was going to be about fixing the kayak trailer. But as of right now, if you can see, the truck is stuck in the driveway. <laughs> I had to disconnect the trailer right there. And I'm going to use this board to get these nails out to get me out. <laughs> it's a work in progress. <clears throat> All right, part one of the adventure to get unstuck. Okay, round two. I got both of them in there. Trying to get down to the hard surface down there. Now there's clay somewhere. I think I finally got it. I think I finally got it. I'm unstuck. Let's try this again. So if you watch the last couple of vlogs, I bought this trailer for like a hundred bucks from the neighbor across the street. We were able to make a deal. So now I'm going to make it into the kayak trailer for less than 150 bucks. I hope to get this thing working. It's going to happen. I had this laying around, some square, some old lumber that we were remodeling the house. It was going to get thrown away. So I'm re-requisitioning it. So boom. I want to put my kayaks on there, build a little floor in it, and then I'm going to go get some spray paint, some Rust-Oleum, get weird with it, and make this thing work. Hopefully I can keep this thing under 150 bucks, not counting registration and title and stuff. So here we go. I'm going to take the grinding wheel, cut off this right here on both sides. Hopefully I don't kill myself. Putting these in, having to hammer them in place, the five pound hammer. All right, it's in place. All right, so I got the bracket on right here. I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna do the same over there. I literally stole those brackets off the chain link fence. Could have gone from an exhaust pipe. Everything I'm building this with was either found on the side of the road in a junk pile or in the garage and the wood was just laying around so I'm still under budget I just gotta get some paint some reflectors and then go to the tag office and I'll be rocking and rolling I'm just going to brace it down there put a floor in here I'm gonna trim these off even with those and we'll be good I'm gonna wire brush it down with the drill and rock steady it's looking like it's gonna work pretty good Sitting in there just right. Got plenty of space in between here. Oh yeah. Almost dark, almost dark, end of day one. It's almost finished. All right, I'm headed into Lowe's. Gotta get paint and some little odds and ends for the trailer. that's on there properly back all right so I just went through and took the wire brush took the wire brush right here and uh, hit all the little rust spots I could and now I'm gonna put the rust-oleum rust remover on it right there and then I'm gonna put some of the satin Rust-Oleum paint all over 
everything. So I spent 29 bucks a while ago, so I'm at 129 bucks. And I'm kind of building it to where if I need to haul something, I can put PV, or a ply, a plywood all the way over this. It can be a trailer, or I can just do it down the middle and it can be a kayak trailer. So I'm trying to make this multi-purpose. I want something that I can haul a lawnmower if I got to, or I can convert it to kayak. So that's kind of how I'm going with this. All right, here goes nothing. All right, I got it all finished up, just about. I got a few more things I wanna put on it, but I think it is definitely fishable now. All right, got it all painted black. Kayaks will sit right here and right here. And then I'm gonna go back and plywood that and make it to where it's a storage place. And then maybe like a little bin up here or a rod tube right here. As you can see, I got my pipe ready. All this was built out of stuff I had laying around the yard. I painted it with two cans of paint, one can of uh, rust remover, and you know, just the regular tools I had laying around. So that's my like 125-ish dollar kayak trailer. And as you can see, it's gonna work good. I'm gonna put the kayaks on it, and I hope you guys, I hope you guys like the video. Just wanted to show that you can get a cool kayak trailer for less than 100, 100 bucks, 120 bucks, 150 bucks. Or you can get the Harbor Freight ones, those are good too. But I haven't registered yet, I don't know how much that's probably gonna be, another 100 bucks or so. Then be ready to rock and roll this weekend. Get out there, find you a kayak trailer. Cause I grew wary on that, uh, on the truck bed extender because when you go on a vacation, you need to be able to drive around, you don't wanna be hauling around kayaks the whole time. So the off and on got old. I can just dismount the trailer and be ready to rock. So see you guys later. Thank <music> you.